taken a break from some Texas fishing and I've come back to the Midwest here in Illinois to visit not only my family, but visit these good old Northern bass. Yesterday I filmed a pretty awesome little video. It turned out pretty good other than the fact that pretty much all of my audio clips from this camera turned out like this. You see there's this little tiny adjustment on the camera and when you switch it all the way to the low and that's when it sounds like this when you click it here. And of course that is exactly the setting that I had this camera on all yesterday while I was trying to film what I thought was a pretty quality video. Before I again, I need to kind of set up a little bit of context and why I'm here. I'm here because I've got a big trip and I'm flying out from Chicago to this next destination. But before I did that, I kind of wanted to, you know, get back to my roots and do some good old fashioned pond hopping. The only issue is I didn't bring any of my rods and any tackle. So I'm limited to what I have. But then I realized this is a perfect opportunity for a challenge video. So these are the lures that I have the luxury of fishing with today. One of which being a black and blue crankbait, the other a black and blue craw, along with that a black and blue worm. And lastly, the real kicker, which is the black and blue spinnerbait. Now the reason why I want to do this challenge is not only because I had very few lures and wanted to kind of make a creative video, but it's also to kind of maybe help you guys get outside your comfort zone and fish some different styles of lure, different colors of lures that you normally aren't comfortable fishing. Back when I was a kid, the one lure that I hated to throw was black and blue. Fast forward to present date, it's one of my favorite color patterns to throw for bass, you know, bluegill, crappie, pretty much anything. I'm going to leave you guys on that right there. Hope you guys enjoy the video and of course, stay tuned. I'm all rigged up. I have a craw with a wobblehead tied on and a shallow diving crankbait. Craw, crankbait. Not sure if you can kind of see where this is going or can kind of tell what today's challenge is gonna be, but if you haven't, I'll just make it obvious and explain to you guys that I'm gonna do the black and blue lure challenge. There's been a lot of YouTubers out there um, that have done color lure challenges. I've never done one. It seems like a good idea and I'm gonna to use today <laughs> to use this challenge. What's kind of good is I'm fishing really muddy water today, and black and blue generally is a good muddy water color, so I'm going to try it. This is how you know there's been a lot of rain. Look at all that sand that's been pushed out of that culvert from all that current. That's nuts. Hey, how's it going? Uh, do you mind if I call you back? Oh, yeah, Okay, cool. I'll call you back in a bit. Oh, there's a little bass. Do you see that? What the heck? Do you see that? A little bass came up and... <laughs> Whoa, about a pounder came up and chased something or I don't know, I had a mental breakdown and was like inches in front of my feet. That was crazy. Well, they're here. <laughs> All right, there's actually water pumping out from under this bridge right here. A little creek, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a creek. It runs all over here and it dumps in the lake. I can actually see some current. So that might be good. It's flowing. Oh, nice job. First cast and it, you know, nailed it right into the tree. Good job, dude, you're a freaking professional. Come on, get out of the tree. Oh no, that might've broken. I think we're good. Nice, okay, let's try that one more time. Oh, there's one. I'm on, I'm on, I got one, I got one. We're on guys, black and blue crankbait. Oh, it's a good one too, it's a good one. Dude, that bite was ferocious. Oh my god. You guys got to see how he ate this. I'm geeking. Look at that. Look how that fish choked it. That is just straight insanity, man. That's how you want all your crankbait fish to eat it. That's a healthy, close to, you know, three pound Midwestern fish. You look at his crush plate too, all red and junk. Definitely been feeding on some craws. He hit right in that current. <laughs> Already knocked out one black and blue, or that being the black and blue. Square bow crankbait. This right here is my first Illinois spring largie. First Midwestern largie. Oh my God, that water's freezing. She's gone. Whew, that was sweet. Now I gotta explain how I caught that fish because it's, it's kind of, I mean, it's important. Granted, I get it, I'm fishing a pond today, but these ponds have very similar traits to the majority of the lakes you guys may be fishing in the Midwest or anywhere for that matter. As I've been saying, 
for the 1,000th time, we've been getting a ton of rain in Illinois. So think about it in this sense, you've got a lake that's basically isolated, but once you add some current and a force that starts pushing, you know, debris and craws and bait into an ecosystem that hasn't seen before, you get fish that stack up around here. It's, it's almost like a conveyor belt for fish, for bass. It's like a bait, it's a bait conveyor belt. Although this little black and blue crank, it looks a little goofy at first glance, it imitates, you know, a little craw that's digging around at the bottom or a little wounded minnow. That's what that fish wanted, so. With that being said, I'm gonna get a few more casts in here. Then I'm gonna switch to my craw, which is over there. All right, next bait to cross off my list is this little black and blue finesse craw on a wobble head. Sick, dude. Nice job. I'm gonna fish this current for about five more minutes. Then after that, I'm gonna go back to the car and change ponds. There's very few fish around that are feeding, but the ones that are feeding are in front of current. What? I need to learn how to cast. That is just so garbage. Okay, wow. Try that again there, Ace. Out with the old, in with the new. fish in my hands. Oh, there's one. I got one. I'm on. Spinner bait. Third cast. <laughs> no way. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Another chunk, dude. Another straight Midwest chunk. All right, this is, I wouldn't even call this a pond. This is essentially a puddle, but it looked good. I'm pretty sure I fished this once before with Ben. I'm just stoked right now, dude. <sighs> Another victim to the black and blue combo. This time, it was on a black and blue spinnerbait. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys right now. I've never caught a fish on a black and blue spinnerbait. Not until today, at least. The spinnerbait itself was sent to me by a fan, so a huge shout out to whoever sent me that, but that's another healthy fish, about a two pounder. I've got like four and a half pounds, five pounds of two fish right now. See, this is why I miss the Midwest so much. These fish are so, so pretty. One kiss, mwah. I'm gonna put it back in the water. That was pretty quick. Two more lures left until I complete this challenge. If it happens faster than I really thought, I might throw in a, an extra, a curve ball. But for now, I'm just pumped. I caught two fish on the two baits I thought were gonna be the hardest to land fish on. For some reason, the craw, the freaking craw, they want nothing to do with today. So we'll see. All I was doing there was I kind of picked a windy bank. That side's calm, this side's a little bit windier. I find that I get a lot of my bites this time of year when it's cold, when I'm bumping that spinnerbait around brush. These fish are not timid. With how cold this water is, I would've thought for sure these fish would've been weenies today, but they aren't. They're aggressive. God, I love it. I feel like a freaking 13-year-old John D again. Just throwing baits around puddles and catching bass. Brings me back to my roots. I'm gonna put that spinnerbait to rest, pick up the crawl. After that, I've got the worm and I'm done. I can go home and get some ice cream. All right. Craw diddy. Wow. On another note, this freaking ground is moosh. Moosh. Look how high the water was, dude. So glad I wasn't fishing like a week ago. Dude, this is it. There he is. I got him. No! Oh! That was a fish. Okay, maybe that wasn't a fish. I don't know. That felt so weird. It felt like a bite, but I was also over a branch too, so it was really hard to tell. Oh my God, that's a fish. That's a fish. I thought I was snagged. It's a fish. <laughs> Woo! Yes! <laughs> that feels so good. These fish are super, super cold right now that I honest to God thought that was like a log and I started freaking ripping it off. Money, not as big as the first two, but just as fat. Look how pudgy that guy is. I think he actually pooped a little bit too. Um, don't know why he did that, man. I didn't set the hook that hard. Back in the water, he goes, little buck bass. Oh, goofy, there you go. Ah, moment of truth. My last bait, it's more of a June bug color, but we'll call it black and blue. We'll roll with it, the feel. And I think I'm getting this challenge done in the nick of time too. Yeah, it's 11.31. If I can catch this fish in less than 30 minutes, or less than, I guess, in 29 minutes, I will have accomplished a feat. Everything is on schedule today. As much as I don't want to stop fishing, I do have a lot of things to do, like edit this video and get ready for my next big trip, which you guys learn about here in just a few short days. Rigging method of choice, I'm gonna keep that wobble head. All I'm gonna do is just hook the nose very slightly. 
ever so slightly. Bring it over, turn it around, hide that hook a bit so we're not getting hung up on garbage. And we're set. That looks pretty dang on good. I think I might get choked on that. Mission impossible. Mission not so impossible. Mission, try to get over this puddle without falling in. Did it. Where are they at though? Where are they gonna be? Oh, this water's clear. That is to my advantage in fishing finesse. Let's keep moving. I don't like this spot. It's too shallow. Oh, did you guys see that? That was crazy. That was crazy. I hope to God you guys saw that. Very few times do I see that this time of year. That fish came up and chased my worm as I was reeling it up. If I would have like paused it just a millisecond earlier, I could have caught that fish. That would have been it. That was my fish. I goofed up though. All right, maybe I'll stay here a little bit longer. I don't know. I doubted the spot. It looks like a, just a really barren flat, but that fish was apparently there. God, that was sick. That was dope. What's funny is like the size of the fish that I caught today would be very like uninteresting to me in Texas, but being out of it back in the Midwest, like I cherish these two pounders. And I actually talked about that in, I believe one of my last videos too, when I was fishing with Rob for bedfish. Not, not unenthused, but not as hyped as I should be about a three pounder, about a four pounder. Over here, if I were to stick a four right now, I'd be pumped. I'd be jacked city. Whoa, is that a bed? No. That looks like a bed. What? Dude, this bank looks sauced the frick up. Like, look at that rock down there. I'm sure you guys can see it, but look at that rock. Imagine a little finesse worm just popping along that rock. Right, right over a freaking 12 pounder, uh, sorry, two pounder's nose. Hey, I pulled up index and I was like, oh my God, are these beds? I can't tell if I'm just straight tripping right now or if these are beds. No argument there. I'm getting a text from my friends. Oh. Just kidding, I don't have any friends. Parkour? Parkour! Oh my god, oh this is, oh this is just straight water. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. No, that's totally cool. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, this is mud. I have about a gallon of water in my shoes. Not sure if that was worth it. Look how clear this water is that's jumping into this spot. There's some good current. This is some decent current. There's one. I'm on. No, he came off. That was him. That was him. He was out there. Why did you do that? You just set the hook like a four-year-old, man. You set the hook like your arms in a cast and you're three years old. It didn't feel like a bite though. I was like pulling it over and it was just like, oh dude, bummer. There's another one. No, he came popped off. I had another one. God, if that's what the bite feels like, it feels like you're going through mush. There's another one. No. How? How, Sway? How? You gotta be freaking kidding me that's three bites if i don't catch this fish i'm gonna rage quit i don't know if there's which is one fish or multiple but maybe it's a bedded bass <laughs> maybe it's a bedded bass <laughs> Ooh, ooh! i'm done i almost i'm about to quit i'm about to quit how'd i lose that fish son how'd i lose that fish another good sauced up bite and i just whiffed it they're all over this bank i wonder if they're just tiny or what i don't know i'm about to cut down this worm a little bit make it easier for them to eat it. Wow, how many more minutes do I have left until 12? It is 12, I got one. He's on. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, it's a nice one. Get in here, get in here. Woo! <laughs> Dude, look at that, that's a good fish, man. That is a quality, quality, quality fish. Well, there you have it, folks. Challenge completed. On that little black and blue finesse worm. Right now the current time is 12.02, so I just barely completed this challenge within the nick of time. And this challenge was completed on, on this note right here, about a two and a half pounder. This so right here is the clutch fish, going back in the water. Play it by ear. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually here just. 
good catch, dude. Nice.